Hello and welcome to day 32 of my seven week challenge to post a video every day. Today, with or with this video, that means that I will officially be back on track because day 32 is actually today. So I'm excited <laughs> for that. I'm, I'm, excuse me. I'm now in Calgary, just on my layover. And this time I actually am sitting in my gate area because when I when I recorded the last video, I was just a bit before my gate, and I couldn't actually see. I could see where it was, but I couldn't see the scening or anything. So after I finished filming the video, I, I ate my phone bar, and then I thought, oh, I guess I should go over and see where they're at. I guess I'm so used to often, like, flights board late, so I thought I'll wander over, and everyone was already boarded. I think it sounded like they were waiting for a group of four more people, but when I walked up by myself, they're like, oh, you must be Leslie, and I'm like, yeah, sorry. So I made it on, thankfully. That would have really not been great if I missed my flight, but I didn't hear, I didn't hear them calling for me or anything, so I, I think I would have tuned in if I'd heard my name being called. So I'm now just... Yeah, I'm here in my boarding. It's in front of me. You may notice I'm choosing to sit. I guess you can't necessarily tell I'm on the floor, but my suitcase is sitting next to me. I just find I'm a little more comfortable sitting on the floor, not quite next to people, but everyone is still like, the seats are right in front of me. So, I'm definitely not hidden. I, th I'm, I feel like I'm sounding more and more congested, which is annoying, but is what it is. The the flight, thankfully, wasn't it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. I was actually pretty much fine here. I did notice though at the end after we had landed, I was I mean I was congested and blowing my nose the whole time. But specifically after we landed, I blew my nose and I guess it, it popped my ears because all of a sudden everything got really loud and because I didn't know that they weren't popped and then I blew my nose and was like, whoa, everything suddenly was loud, so that was, I, it definitely, I was clogged, my ears needed popped, but I felt much better after that. I still think I have, I should have enough Kleenex for the last, my second flight home, so I think I'll be okay. My nose is sore, but not as bad as I thought it would be actually, but I just want to talk about a bit about being sick. I can't even remember now honestly what I had said already in the last video, so I'm just going to pretend that I said nothing. Uh, as for being sick, it's something that I find very frustrating because I work very hard on to, I work really hard on my health and to build my immune system and to eat healthy, to try to live as healthy of a lifestyle as I can. And for that reason, I don't get sick very often. Generally, it's about once a year and when I do get sick, I, I know that it's my fault because something I'm doing something different in my life and that's why that's when I get sick because I know I'm not I'm letting my standard of living when it comes to health slip and then that's when my body will crash. So for this, for example, I'm not I wasn't at home, so I wasn't I don't sleep very well when I'm not home, so I wasn't getting as quality sleep as I normally would. On top of that, with the course, it goes late, it starts early, so my sleeping hours were really, really cut short. Even Sunday night, I ended up only, no, not Sunday night, Saturday night, I only got about four hours sleep. So I would say it was probably from that. I did end up getting sleeping in a bit Monday, but I think it's just a little too late. It was already catching up to me at that point. And the other thing too is uh, with eating, I was trying to eat as healthy as possible and I, I brought my fruit and nut bars obviously and for dinner I was trying to make sure that I got some veggies but it's not always that easy because I, I really didn't want to just eat a salad every day. I wasn't eating much the rest of the day so I wanted a filling meal and I tried to make sure that everything had at least some veggies but it wasn't, it's not going to, it's not as much as I'm normally eating. I'm normally have broccoli with my rice. I normally like for dinner it's a soup with a bunch of stir-fry vegetables. So it's 
it's hard to get the same standard of food and nutrition when you're traveling, which is why it is common for me to get sick while traveling. Another thing is that I didn't, so, no, they're just going to hear the announcement. Okay, they're just saying the flight's late. Um, what was I say? Oh, yeah, yeah. When I'm at home, if I start to feel anything, I have... I'm not sure if you can hear me, that, that announce now is really loud, so I'm going to wait a second, but uh, I might have to just keep talking. I'm just going to hope you can hear me, so I'm going to say, when I'm at home, if I ever start to feel something, I have a lot of different supplements and things that I can take to help build my immune system. Um, for example, uh, uh, echinacea. And I did bring a bottle of that, thankfully. Um, extra vitamin C. But the main thing I'll take right away is oregano oil. And I did not bring that with me. And this is one of the first times, I think, that I haven't brought it with me since I started having it at home. And the reason is because I, because I did carry on, I was limited with my space for liquids. And it's liquids, and it's like a decent sized bottle. So normally I just... I bring it when I travel and I have it checked and I really I never have, I've never don't usually get sick while I'm there often I'll get sick when I get home so I brought it with I bring it with me all the time and never end up using it so of course this time I didn't bring it and I really could have used it so it's just it's things like that that I don't have my extra little like boosters even for the, my vitamin C it was individual packets and I didn't bring an extra day or anything, whereas normally I would like up my dosage if I start to feel something, which is why normally if like Justin gets sick more than I do, so if he less normally if he gets sick, I'll just boost up my stuff and then I don't get sick, I'm fine. So I'm, I've I can I guess I take I take a lot of pride in my health and working hard on my health, and so it, it frustrates me when I get sick because I like I want to have it all together. But we all slip up. And like the nice thing is when I do get sick, I understand why. I know what I've changed and what I've done differently and why I am getting sick all of a sudden. So I acknowledge that absolutely it is lack of rest and my nutrition not being up to the standard that it normally is when I'm at home. And that's just something that I have to accept and when I get home do better, get back into my normal nutrition foods of what I would normally be eating, get a really good rest in my own bed with my own pillow and just get a really, a really good sleep I think and that will really help me so that's why I'm sick. Normally the other time I usually always get sick is Christmas because I just get so overwhelmed with like active like gatherings every single day and I'm not eating my normal food because it's a family gathering so that's normally the time I get sick so if I'm only allowed to get sick once a year now I've really got to up my game during the holidays so that I don't get sick because I don't want to get sick twice in one year that's that's way too much so I am like my face I don't know if you see me my fingers are really cold right now so this feels so good. It feels like ice pack on my forehead. My face is just on fire. It doesn't look that red, but I'm not feeling not feeling too great. So this is all for today. I'm caught up, but now I can just stick with one one video a day for the rest of it. So. <coughs> Thank you for watching. I'm going to stop recording this and blow my nose because <clears throat> I'm starting to have trouble breathing. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.